So let's take a trip down memory lane. This is the day that we moved in in April, 2023. Chris had already come here after we had signed the papers and had some friends just drop all the boxes in the house. So this was the only footage I had get gotten before we moved in. Moving to November 23, we, 2023, we've already completed phase one and two. Phase one was the pantry. Phase two was the island. I will have that video down below if you wanna check it out. Now we are moving to phase three. So as I get started for this phase of the kitchen renovation, I'm gonna empty out all of the cabinets. So I was on the fence about actually replacing the cabinets or just painting them. But after getting several quotes, I realized that just replacing them made the most sense because the cabinets were unfortunately very waterlogged and damaged. So even if we had painted them, they would not be a smooth surface. So it was just best to go ahead and replace them. Also, I had gotten so many quotes from multiple cabinet companies and I actually found a distributor on Facebook Marketplace. They were a, a cabinet outlet and they didn't have everything, but they had a lot. So we just gave them the dimensions. I told them what I wanted and we went from there. So when you do things on a budget, you just have to be prepared to compromise a little bit and it always works out. I would much rather compromise and kind of, you know, make it work than spend way too much money. That's just how I am. So Chris is taking the cabinets down. I'm emptying it out. We are a good team because he does the heavy lifting and I do the nitty gritty stuff. He could absolutely care less about emptying these cabinets out, decluttering and organizing them. But he loves the ripping them out and demoing it. He loves all that stuff. So at this point, we're going to take this cabinet out here, which was really bizarre. But the side um, next to the window was where it was so waterlogged and of course on the inside and the doors were nicked and whatnot. So these are regular builder grade cabinets from MI Homes. The gentleman who built this house said he used to work for them and that's where he got his cabinets. So um, they were not horrible, but they just weren't the color I wanted and painting them just didn't make sense. So we are going to put them outside and he's gonna continue to take the rest of these things down. Now, as he took everything down, I did um, put a post on Facebook Marketplace for the granite, just like I had done for the island and I sold that granite slab. Then I also sold this slab right here and everything that I make from what I sell. So we sold the cabinets and we sold the granite slab and then I put that right back into the kitchen and that is how I kind of recoup some of my money on top of doing everything on a budget. You already know that I did a huge declutter in here. So I have that footage. I finally got my computer back. I am actually on my laptop now, yay. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen just all of the ups and downs we've had since we have entered this year. But I finally got my laptop back, got the footage, and I will be doing a full kitchen declutter and organize video. Stuff, but I can look up. Okay. Oh, I see. So a lot of the uh, job that we do or the lot of work we do is in the evening just because we have the kids and everything. So it's not always the best lighting and sometimes I just don't have a full battery and I miss out on the footage. I'm just being transparent with you. But we did our best. Also, when other people come in here to help us, like we did have our um, great friend, our contractor friend come in and help um, put the cabinets in to make sure they were level and put in properly. I'm not going to film him just because I don't want to, um, I just don't want to do that. I didn't ask to film him, so I'm not going to put it on here. Hold the baby.
so I'm going to add some of the items in here. Everything was temporary at this point. I wasn't 100% sure where things were going to go, but I was just eager to get it out of my dining room. So I started to put things back in here. As you can see, we do not have the granite in here. That's another circumstance where when the granite guys came in, I don't ask to film them. Um, and I don't want to, um, what is the word? Uh, I don't know, their privacy. So it's their privacy. I don't want to put them out on here. So, and I didn't ask, so I won't do that. That's why this uh, video kind of jumps around a little bit because if someone comes in, it's just not right to add them unless they know they're being filmed. So I'm going to go through all of these medicines. Like I said, y'all already know I was looking forward to this declutter, y'all. Y'all already know. And I got rid of a ton of stuff. I have this sped up 20 times. Is that not crazy? We got rid of so much stuff. So there were certain parts of this renovation that I was most excited for. And this was probably number one. I was so excited about getting new appliances. You would be so blown away with how much your kitchen can look completely upgraded just by the appliances. You don't have to paint the cabinets, replace the cabinets. You don't have to do anything. But new appliances can make such a difference. Um, we, are, we are actually friends with the gentleman that owns the appliance plug. I've talked to you guys about them since the house before last. We got a refrigerator from them. Then in the last house, we got the other refrigerator from them and the washer and dryer. And in this house, we got the microwave and the oven from them. So whenever we need anything, they are our go-to. Um, really good friends with his wife, love her. And he is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. One of the main things that I love about him so much and his business is that he has a YouTube channel and he produces free content over there just to teach you all how to use appliances to save you time and money so you're not having to hire someone to fix your appliances. Now, of course, if you need to buy some appliances, they definitely have you covered and he sells to all over the U.S., not just Florida. So they are located here in Florida, but if you go to his website, which, which I will have all of their information in my description box, um, you can purchase their appliances all over the U.S. So, and if you just need help in picking out good appliances for your budget, just contact him. He's on Instagram and he is here on YouTube. And uh, a video before last, I had mentioned them, said, hey, just go give them a a subscribe um, it's completely free it just lets you know when he uploads new content and like I said it's free to you so you want to know how to fix your microwave or your dishwasher or whatever the case may be he has you covered so go and check out his channel um, the appliance plug let him know that I sent you that would mean so much to me but more than anything don't leave there without hitting that subscribe button um, I really want to see him succeed i have never met someone so deserving so dedicated and just so i don't know genuine um 
he knows everything about the business. And if you live in a house, you have appliances most likely. So whether you need new appliances, he's got you covered. You want to know how to fix your appliances, he got he has you covered. So check him out. Um, I really appreciate his friendship, his wife's friendship, and I appreciate the help that they have been there for us for literally the past five years. So I wanted to give a little shout out to him just because it means so much to me. And I love supporting businesses. And when they are amazing, it makes it that much better. So... Um, as I had mentioned before, I did not film some things because people were installing them. And I actually found the guy who made these floating shelves and the hood on Facebook Marketplace. I told you guys I love that place. Um, so I was looking for a custom hood and I was pretty particular about what I wanted because this was another thing that was just like a big deal to me. This is where like your kitchen will just take the next level appliances um your countertops and then like if you have like a hood or something it just takes it i mean really far it, it really makes a huge difference so i found him on facebook marketplace gave him my dimensions and he made this hood for me and you'll see more details about it later and then again with the shelves gave him my dimensions and he made floating shelves some ways that you can save money is paint them yourself, install them yourself. And that is what we're doing. We uh, stained these shelves and then the hood was painted. So those are ways you save money. That's how we save money. Anytime we do demo, we always do the demo ourselves. If it has to do with painting, we do the painting ourselves. Installing, we do the installing ourselves usually. Now with the cabinets, we did have her quote barefoot carpenter we've had him since we lived in our very first house in 2011 and uh yeah he's incredible so uh yeah now moving on to decorating these floating shelves now i have wanted to do this for so so long you guys know i don't like clutter but i do like things to feel very cohesive and cozy so our realtor when we bought our last house got us this cutting board and I haven't really had it out and I decided I'm going to shop my house before I do anything. And that's what I'm doing. I have these cutting boards for a quite long, a quite a long time. And then the rest of the things that I use to curate this space here, all from the house, except, except I did get this little, I don't know what it is, ceramic pot bingamajiggy from the clearance section at Hobby Lobby for about five or seven dollars. And then I had gone into a secondhand bookstore and picked up uh, a book you'll see in just a minute that says The Joy of Cooking. So I've been wanting to get more into cooking different types of things for my family. We get in a rut. And so I found that and I thought it was beautiful and it was secondhand. It was $6. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you look at everything I'm doing and then I'll hop back on here. Feel free to ask any questions down below. You know I'm an open book, so whatever you want to ask, I will answer.
I love the way everything turned out. Um, it just feels really good. And I've told you guys I decorate to a feeling. And when it clicks, it clicks. And so I really was thrilled with how this turned out. It is definitely a work in progress. We still have a punch list for sure. Um, and we will get to that very soon. But I felt really proud of the progress. I was really thankful that we got this far. I love this hood. The appliances are of my dreams. I actually lifted those cabinets myself and put them above there. So I just want to give a little kudos to myself and to um, the appliance plug for literally hooking us up. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, I really think that should be a slow go. Go to the appliance plug. They will hook you up. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send that to him and see what he says. But check them out. Go to my description box. Please, please, please go over to them. Just give them a subscribe. But I hope you guys loved this video. Like, we have a lot more to do in this kitchen. Well, not a lot, but we have some. And then, actually, Monday, we are starting the stairs. So that's really exciting. And then starting the boys' room. They're getting the room completely enclosed and adding another rail up there. So really looking forward to that. This house is coming together. It, um... It evokes a sense of peace in my soul that I, I, I have to be honest, I've, I've missed for quite some time. I actually didn't know that it was missing at the old house. I didn't know. I didn't know. I just knew that something wasn't right. Um, I know that sounds really strange because it's my dream home and all, but I just knew something wasn't right. Um, that's why when I felt like the Lord really had told us it was time to go as hard as it was, I cried a lot because I didn't want it to be true, but I knew it was. I knew it was time to go, but that's hard when it's supposed to be your quote-unquote dream house, but you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't. I had hoped it would be, but it wasn't, and I guess, you know what? I'm just not that type of girl. I guess I just need something with more character, um, more peace, more land, more joy, more happiness with my children. That's what matters at the end of the day. It's not the four walls. It's the people. And I am so thrilled that we are making this house our own. It is fitting our style and what we like. And we plan on being here until our grandkids come here. So that's a really beautiful, beautiful thing. Everything we do into this house is something that we know is going to be here for a long time. And that's really special. I've never, ever experienced that before. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Would you let me know in the comments below what was your favorite thing? Let me know if you went over to the appliance plug and just gave them a hello and a subscribe. And um, we have more to do, more decluttering, organizing, cleaning, and you already know some renovating because we're making this house our own. I love you all. And uh, with this new year and new change, I just want you to know nothing changes with how I feel about you all. Um, you mean so much to me. I love you all so much. And you can make this world a better place. And I'm so thankful for you. Time is precious. And the fact that you spent it here means the world to me. You are so genuinely loved by me. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Just remember, you are worthy and you are loved. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.